good news. I found this dude who wants to buy all the MP3s. Take TK's car. You're joking. Do the deal, come back, and drop the keys in the litter box. TK Samuels. That's me. How can I help? Brian Smith Reynolds. Nothing. I just saw many D. He was involved in a car crash, right? He was driving your car. He had a fake driver's license. Daniel, what have you done? Not my problem anymore. Talk to Maya. But as if I'm gonna do that, she's a murderer. Out of her. She may have been gaga when she did it, but who's to say she's not going to go gaga again? What if me asking for the rest of my shift off is enough to tip her over the edge? <coughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only saying I wouldn't want to be alone in the supply cupboard with her. And not just because she's lesbian. Why are all your dirty clothes strewn all over the place? I'm sorting it out for the laundromat. Why aren't you using the washing machine here? I can't afford washing powder. And yet you can afford to pay for the laundromat. The powder and the laundry's for everyone. Go for it. Yeah, uh, just as soon as you've paid your share of the flat shopping, $28.63. Oh, right. Well, I do give you the extra 30 at the pool wall. OK, well, then there's just a small matter of your share of the bond. Eh? Just whenever you can afford it. And if you could set up an AP so they don't have to nag you for rent all the time? Love to. Cool. Thank you. Sorry. He's, um... He likes to be organised. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. 30 bucks for food's not bad. That wasn't the big shop. It's tomorrow. And honestly, if you can't afford it... <laughs> it's sweet, I can. <laughs> there can be heaps of expenses when you move into a new flat. <sighs> and like I say, it's cool. I'm on it. TK, this is too much for him right now. Come on, Daniel. So you're going to tell me what happened? Is he going to be OK? We don't know. He's in a critical condition. He'll be taken up to surgery soon. We'll know more when he gets out. OK, come on, let's go. The kid was driving my car, and you have no idea how or why. I already told you. He had the keys. And all your crap today, come on, let's walk, let's leave the car at home. What was that TK, all about? OK, leave it. You know what's going on here, Sarah, as well as care. I do. Yeah, there is a time and a place, all right? Now, come on, Daniel. Okay, uh, see you tonight, uh, 7.30, good for you? Um, are you sure that your place is a good idea? We could go out somewhere instead. No, I've had the slow cooker on all day. Oh, well, how can I refuse? <laughs> no, don't knock it, my beef stroganoff is legendary. And will Hunter and his charming new friend be joining us? Don't you worry about Hunter, we will have a relaxed and pleasant evening. Okay. Jackie, two coffees, please. PDAs now, huh? Must be serious. Brooks is coming round for a dinner. I'd love that you could be somewhere else. Nice. Well, if you can't be civil, son. Are you going to say the same thing to Sophie? Right. You forgot that she comes home today. Sophie will be welcome at dinner, and I'm sure that she is mature enough to accept Brooke. <laughs> you must be kidding. You're going to dump a brand new stepmom on her the second she comes off that plane, and you think she's going to be OK with that? Once I have spoken with her, yeah. You? OK, are cheating on our mother. No matter how you dress it up, that is the fact. It's not that simple, and you know it. Once I've spoken with Sophie, she will be fine. Oh, and could I get her toasted sandwich? Um, cheese and onion? And does it come with fries? Yeah. Awesome. I thought we were just getting coffee. I know it, but I'm hungry. Yeah, but how much is this? Hey, coffee? everyone deserves a treat every now and then, right? Choice, thanks. So, I'm still trying to get why you chose Gerald over Hunter. I had such a good time the other night. Man, he's good. Sorry, not into comparing notes? No. But I'm really, really happy with Gerald. <laughs> you really mean that, eh? I know he can come across as a bit uptight, but it's because he cares. <laughs> when I had money problems and when I was fighting off the debt collectors, he helped me. Oh, lucky you. It's all about consolidating your debt instead of owing to people all over the place, which can get totally out of control. You're so right. Leave me five handy. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Look, I'm going to help you. Yes, I will so pay you back, I swear. Hold on, I'm, I'm not offering to lend you any money. Oh. I'm going to teach you how to budget. 
awesome. How's Daniel? How do you think? You didn't need to launch straight into him. I was freaking out myself. And anyway, he should see the consequences he of his actions. He said Ryan took the car without his knowledge. Oh, come on, Sarah. Are you really buying that? Why are you so quick to believe the worst? Oh, Mum, such a nice day. Let's go for a walk. Let's leave the car Stop at home. Stop it! What about your car? It's a write-off. Yeah, but it'll be covered by insurance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel was playing us both, Sarah. He set this whole thing up Well, with he Ryan. must have been pushed into it. No! You can't just say no! Sarah, think about it. Which one of them has just been in court? You know what Daniel's been up to, you know. What if... What if he was taking the rap for Ryan the whole time? Oh, you can't be serious. He promised, TK. He swore he wouldn't do anything else. Oh, hi. I was just about to leave and get some wine for tonight. Something read, I presume? Uh, about that. Oh, what now? I'd forgotten that Sophie's coming home today and I have to pick her up from the airport. And you haven't told her that we're seeing each other. But after I have, oh, we can reschedule. Here we go again. Look, I'm sorry, it's just hard when there are kids involved. Callum, you're probably making a bigger deal of this than you need to. I get on okay with Sophie. She's a sweetie. Well, yes, yes, but teenagers are difficult creatures. Apparently their frontal lobes aren't fully functioning until they're in their 20s. Oh, give so it they... up, Callum. I will stay well away, as requested. Now, don't be like that. It's you know, fine. I... I'm more than getting used to it. How are you holding up? Daniel, talk to me. Tell me what I can do to help. I might just go home. Huh? Okay, let's go. His CT shows severe brain trauma with diffuse brain swelling and raised intracranial pressure. Um, hold up, Gabrielle. Daniel might like to hear this as well. Uh, I don't think so. Patient confidentiality. Oh, he's a mate, Sarah. He's concerned and would like an update, right, Daniel? He would like to go home. Yeah, just tell us what you're about to do, Gabrielle. An emergency decompression craniectomy to reduce intracranial pressure. Yeah, which means she's removing part of Ryan's skull because it's pushing okay. on his brain. Usually a last resort, though, right? In this case, I have no other options, correct? If you'll excuse me, I have to scrub in. So we're looking at brain damage for sure. Now all Gabrielle is doing is trying to reduce the... TK, for brain. God's sake, get a grip! This is serious. Very serious. It'll take all day for me to wash this lot. Might as well go to the laundromat after all. A bit quicker. So that's a toasted sandwich, a coffee, and paying for the laundromat all in one day. That's your whole week's allowance for miscellaneous, blow. Eh? Check it out. The figure on the top left is your monthly income. I've included all your expenses plus payments to reduce your debt. And there's your spending money. Is that it? I have no life. Your income doesn't include any extra shifts you might want to take on. If you need more spending money for a special occasion, you can put your hand up for more work. Like I said, I have no life. <laughs> Adaha, give it a try. OK, I'll ditch the laundromat and I'll go to the hospital calf instead of sugar for lunch. Or you could take a packed lunch to work. What am I, five years old? Did I tell you about how I once had to sell my laptop and pawn off my mother's jewellery? It's the most miserable existence. Adaha, don't go there. Once your debt is cleared, you'll have more spending money, OK? OK, and thanks a lot, mate. I really appreciate it. And we spent a couple of days at this amazing spa up in the Blue Mountains. Did you catch up with any of your old friends? No, I just hung out with Mum and did heaps of shopping, actually, which reminds me. So how did she take the news? I'm getting to it, OK? Yeah, well, I'll believe it when I see it. So if there's something I need to tell Look you... Look what Mum bought me. It's way faster than my old one. It's got heaps more grunt and it's green. It's silver. It's environmentally friendly, doofus. Whatever. Where's my present? There you go. And there you go. Oh, thanks, Soph. You didn't have to do this. I didn't buy from Mum. What's she doing buying me presents? Because she misses you, dummy. Seriously, she does. Yeah, I miss her too. She, uh... 
actually got a bit teary one night. Admittedly, it was after a wine or two, but I think she just can't wait till this whole thing's over and she can come home. Guess we all do. <laughs> First load sorted and the second load in the dryer already. I thought it'd take ages. If you count the travelling, it's probably saved you time and at least five dollars. Wow, big bucks. You'll be surprised how it adds up. I guess it can't hurt to learn a few saving tricks. Good for you. Hmm. Oh, crap. Tell me these are yours. Oh, my gosh, the Geralds. Where are Geralds? Unless he likes them super tight, I don't think he's going to be wearing them anymore. Oh, man, they must have got them mixed up in my wash. How did that happen? Those were his favourites. OK, here's what we do. I'll hide them in his wardrobe, and you make a few passing comments about how he's been letting himself go a bit, and then, when he puts them on, he'll think he put on weight and grown three inches taller. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. How's your day? What's going on? Nothing much. Morgan? Um, there was a small mishap. <sighs> mishap? Uh, please don't be mad. <gasps> uh, they got mixed up in my washing, sorry. How? Accidentally. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Simple solution, I'll replace them. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, you, you're, you're going to fly to Melbourne, are you? And then you're going to go to the hippest boutique on Chapel Street and pay a small fortune, only to convince yourself that it's what you really need, and then get them tailored so that they're an absolutely perfect fit. Is that what you're going to do, Aroha? Gerald, you know what? If I'd been allowed to do my washing like I wanted to, this wouldn't have happened. Look. Gabrielle has to present the worst-case scenario. It's her job. And the way she communicates, she's very black and white. It doesn't mean that there's no hope. Really? Well, Ryan just needs you to think positive, OK? Ready to proceed with emergency decompression. Osteotomy saw, please. My first incision into the skull will remove a portion of the cranial vault. He's bleeding, Gabrielle. See that suction now? Massive subdural hemorrhage, the cause of the raised intracranial pressure. BP's dropping, Gabrielle. This wasn't part of the plan. Three hundred dollars. Whoa. Australian, so with the exchange rate and shipping. We'll just have to work the cost into your budget. Who spends that amount of money on trousers anyway? Gerald has an amazing dress sense, but you're right. It does seem a bit over the top. Man, I'm in the wrong industry. I should be making trousers and... Oh, my God. That's it. What's it? I'll make him a new pair. But they were designer, and they were really, They really... were overpriced, and I can do just as good a job. I know it. And I should be able to track this fabric down. There's this place in town. It has loads of designer offcuts. I could probably get enough for under 100 bucks. Really? Hmm. Really, except I don't have that much money spare right now. Come on, Morg. A little teensy-wensy loan so I can make it up to Gerald. I'm not exactly loaded myself. But, OK, as long as we can work the repayments to me into your budget. In that case, it would be better if you made it 200 Eh? Well, you were the one who mentioned debt consolidation. Only owing one person instead of heaps? Come on, I'll do the whole budget thingy. I'll even take a packed lunch to work. 200 Gerald will kill me. He'll get over it when he sees how great his new pants are. Tell the truth. You got your arm broken on purpose so you didn't have to do the dishes, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, not doing the dishes was totally worth taking the fall for your stink little boyfriend. Daniel is not my boyfriend. And what were you doing around at his place anyway? I was staying there for a bit. Sarah and TK offered. I said cheers. Well, why would you need a place, sister? You know what? Stuff the dishes. Why don't we see what we got for dessert, huh? 
Why would I need a place to stay? Well, you might want to ask the old man that one. Thank you, Hunter. You are welcome. OK, is someone going to tell me what's going on? Yep, there it is. Perhaps you'd like to give us some space, huh? I'll be in my room safe if you need me. Dad? Um... Soph, I miss your mother more than I can say. Yeah, it's miserable. Yeah, it's difficult when the world thinks she's dead, when the world thinks I'm a widower, which is why I've started seeing someone. A counsellor. No, Sophie. Seeing someone isn't seeing. You're bonking some woman. I wouldn't quite put it like that. Well, then how would you put it? I've started a relationship with Brooke Freeman. You're doing that, Hobag. So Why? I told you why. What, to make it more believable that Mum's dead? What a bunch of crap. No one's expecting well, you to Well, that's part of the reason, but people have needs, and when you're a man alone... Oh, gross! I, I bet your Mum's not sitting around twiddling her thumbs either. But Mum is so lonely, and she misses you so much, and no, she isn't twiddling anything or anyone. Unlike you, she's being faithful. Well, nothing that she'd admit to. Oh, you're disgusting! You've got to be joking. What is it? There is $200 missing from our joint account. It's like there's a big neon sign next to it with Aruha flashing over and over. I'm sure she hasn't stolen money My from... darling wife is a soft touch. I bet my left nostril that she's lent Aruha the money or something. Borrowing money from people you barely know is not a good idea. And that's only just the start of it, Yvonne. Do you remember those 100% merino pants that I had from Chapel Street? Oh. Well, she put them in the dryer. In the dryer, Yvonne. Now they'd be too small for JJ. I'm sure she didn't mean to. She probably was just trying to help. Been on a bit of a spree, have we? No, just been grabbing a few bits and pieces. And the bond money? Oh, you'll get it soon, I promise. Yeah, right. Because a sow and her piglets just flew over the hospital. Wow. Uh, I'll meet you back at the flat. I'm just grabbing some stuff from my locker. Do you see? $200 missing from our account, and all of a sudden, Aroha's has been shopping. Oh, Morgan. Heart of gold. Yeah, brain of... <sighs> Dad, honestly. Yeah. So why'd you move back in here, then? You could have gone somewhere else. Because I wanted to make his and Brooke's lives as unpleasant as possible. I brought this chick home the other night. We made sure we kept them awake till 5 in the morning. <laughs> Brooke sleeps here in my mum's bed. Yeah. Mum's going to be so upset. I mean, if, if what Dad's doing is as legitimate as he says, then why doesn't he just tell her? I don't know how she hasn't found out already. He's not exactly keeping it a secret, is he? Brooke's such a tramp, don't you think? Well, he's deceiving her as well. She has no idea that she's the other woman. Well, yeah, maybe not, but she knows his wife is barely dead. And he's too old for her. And he's her boss. It's wrong on so many levels. But you better get used to it. She's almost part of the furniture. Well, what's going to happen when the court case is over and Mum can move back home? Well, I don't think Dad's thought it through that far. Doesn't sound like he's been thinking at all. Luckily, I'm here to talk some sense into him. And you think he's going to listen? Yeah, he will. There's no way I'm going to let that tart try and take my Mum's place without a fight. Do you want something to eat, Dan? No, okay. thanks. Sandwich or something? Okay. Hi. Good. Want to turn it off, Danny? Ryan's out of surgery. And? And his injuries are worse than they thought. He had a bleed, and the upshot is he's in a coma. If he ever wakes up, chances are he'll be severely brain damaged. If he ever wakes up? That's right. Daniel, I'm so sorry. Daniel! No! You get out of my face! I swear there has to be some kind of record. Oh my goodness, you've finished them already. Mm -hmm. Worked like a demon. That's incredible. Mm, I could wait until he tries them on to hem them, but I reckon it'd be really good if they were a surprise. So could I grab some of his other pants? Go for it. Oh. They're all in the wardrobe in his room. You're such a star. Thanks. How was 
work. Long, thanks to yet another double shift. I know, they're hard. Do you know what's harder? Finding out that the money you're working your butt off for keeps disappearing from your joint account. Oh. I'll put it back in as soon what as What did I... you need it for, Morgan? Oh, no, don't tell me. Aroha. I lent her a bit. Oh, Morgan, she's just got you totally sucked in. There's a really good reason for it. What? She needed emergency hair extensions. She needed to get her nails done again. Or oh, what? No, I know. She finally lost on one of her cheating pull shark games, and so we had to cough up enough to cover for it. Gerald, calm that down. That girl is a con artist and a criminal, and she is cheap and nasty, and I'm sick of the fact that... Gerald! So I don't spend $300 on trousers. Maybe that does make me cheap, but nasty. That'd be you, bro. You want to be gone? Now I am. Good luck finding a new flatmate. You'll need it. You so will. Right now, I don't want to live with you. How's your girlfriend? I didn't go and see Brooke. Well, where'd you go then? To pick this up. Passion fruit cheesecake. Yeah. Remember when you were little and you were extra good? We go and get one of these. Family trip. Yeah. Should I uh, cut you an extra big bit? Except it's not the same when we're not a family anymore. Don't say that, Soph. I still love your mother very much. Then why are you cheating on her? You're too young to understand this, but it is possible to separate love from sex. Yeah, of course I get that. I haven't loved everyone I've slept with. I'm not sure I'm ready to hear you say those sorts of things, Sophie. So, did your mum discuss this before she went, or after? Did you give each other permission to screw around? Your mother will understand. What, understand that there's some younger woman in her house, sleeping in her bed with her husband, and all her old work colleagues and friends know about it? Look, Sophie... Look, she will be hurt and humiliated. And if you really loved her, then you'd dump Brooke straight away. I like Brooke a lot. More than mum. Sweetheart, we are in a unique and complex situation. And I need you to bear with me, because for the foreseeable future, Brooke is not going anywhere. You're not my mother. I'm not trying to be. A fling. You could dump her and remember your wedding vows. Or a future. I'm serious about your father. Either you're lying to me or you're lying to her. Which one is it? Shortland Street, 7 o'clock tomorrow. TV2.